Dokkan battle video. Today we're gonna go ahead and take down the Great Apes Easy Eight. Um, so Kid Goku, uh, Great Ape Vegeta, and then Great Ape Raditz uh, all are getting Easy A's right here um, from this Easy A. Now this is actually one of the rare events in Dokkan history where this has been out on global for many months now. I mean, this came out at the start of October um, in 2021, and it's now, you know, middle of March here for JP, where we finally got this. Now, I mean, this, I don't think that this Easy 8 was particularly tough even for global players when this dropped, um, but for JP players, this is, it, it's, this is like a meaningless Easy 8. There's no difficulty, no challenge to this absolutely whatsoever. Um, because over here on JP, right, with the weakness being grade A power, that means LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta have gotten their easy A's. Um, that means Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has gotten his easy A. That means we have the best unit in the game, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on the team. And we could even bust out, like, LR Great Ape Vegeta. All of these characters we have available to bust out um, for this easy A right here. So, with that, I, I, just, I just can't... I can't really see this being difficult, again, for, like, nearly anyone. Um, just with how how many, like, really powerful and really good units there are um, available to be used here, right? Now, one thing to note is that once you get to the Raditz portion, which is stage... No, it's, it's once you get to stage 15. Raditz starts at stage 11. Stage 15, um, the bosses get 80% damage reduction against physical so it does seem like even though this came out first on global, it was set up in such a fashion so that the LR Super Saiyan 4s couldn't solo carry you through this, right? Um, that's obviously why they have 80% damage reduction against physical, and that's the only typing. So they basically want you to use any other typing except for physical um, to do damage in this event, but guess what? I mean, I, here you still, like, this is probably the setup you want to use anyway, the Super Saiyan 4s, the physicals. Um, they're not going to be able to do damage again once you reach stage 15, but they're still not going to be taking damage. They're, you know, completely immune to taking damage. Um, they still are able to potentially triple super, super effective against all types. Um, and, but they link so well with like the LR Super Saiyan 4s as well that I found it's just very easy, um, to bring the, you know, physical LR Super Saiyan 4s. Um, and then even once we get past stage 15, just continue to rock the same team. Uh, because we have the GT um, Kid Goku and then the GT Vegeta as well, the Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan duo, uh, they're able to just create a plethora of rainbow orbs on every single rotation, so that it just becomes very easy to just sort of slide our way through the entire event, uh, basically without um, any resistance, right? Like, there wasn't... This was just a free, full auto, like, no pay attention, not really much uh, to think about or do here. Um... When it comes to running alternate setups, I guess, like, so it's, like, in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, he, of course, is a Great Ape power, like, leader. You know, you, if you've got him, you could rock him. LR Great Ape Vegeta, of course, is JP only right now. Super Saiyan 4 Broly is a Great Ape power lead. But, of course, him, you know, he's only a Heroes unit, so you might not have him. Uh, there's also Super Saiyan 4 Gohan. Again, Heroes unit, though, you might not have him. And then there's also the GT Great Ape Vegeta is a Great Ape Power Leader, but, I mean, he's only rocking a 50% leader skill buff. Um, you probably could do, like, a, a Goku family team led by LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku or something like that. Um, but again, the G Great Ape Power, like, category is really not that good. For the most part, you're probably just going to be rocking Super Saiyans. Like, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta were already solid, but, I mean, after their easy A, they're, you know top five in the game unit contenders potentially with just how overly powerful they are and then of course tech super saiyan 4 gogeta is able to just absolutely just stunt beyond belief in this event so uh let me know what you guys think of the great apes easy a um there is a title for getting the stage 77 as well i probably will knock out um so what i'm probably going to do with a lot of these easy a's since there are a title for stage 77 uh, when they drop, I'll probably just do, you know, a quick video getting to stage 30. Um, and then I probably will do uh, stage 77 videos for a lot of these easy A's as well, I'm thinking. I, I think I will probably do that. Um, you know, that's going to be, you know, pretty good to go ahead and get extra titles. Hopefully they'll eventually, you know, mean something towards power level or something like that. 
And then some of the older EZAs, I will try and go back and get the Stage 77. Because remember, every single EZA, basically, Stage 77 does get you a title. So, I'm um, going to end the commentary here. Let me know what you guys think of the Raditz, Vegeta, and Go Kid Goku um, Great Ape EZAs. Uh, I'll do a couple of showcases on them upcoming, right? You know, these three characters haven't, you know, they just came out on JP here for Saiyan Day. So we'll see how effective they can be. Let me know what you guys think, um, and I'll catch you guys next time.